Hey guys, so I am back and this is going to be a video on this hair. So pretty, got some color for a change. I've been doing dark hair for a minute now. So this is the bag that the hair came in and this hair is from Tanache Hair. Have I worked with them before? I can't even remember, but I know that this is a very popular company. So it came with this inside, which gives you like their Facebook, Instagram and stuff like that. And then it has like some info about their hair and stuff. This is the bag that the hair came in. This is a 24 inch 13 by 6 lace front wig. And then also in here it did come with a mirror and a little um, neck cap. Not a stocking cap. So yeah. This is the hair. Let me see if I can pull up the info for you just to give you the deets on it. So this hair color is a 1B27. It's a straight lace front wig and it's 24 inches. So yeah, that's the deets on this hair. I did put some one curls in it and I did just a light a little um, face framing around the front. And yeah, that's what I did. I did a middle part. You guys will see how I styled this hair, but I think it's really pretty. I did get some shading from this hair. Like right now I'm not getting any, but well, yeah, I got like one strand, but that just tends to happen with lighter hair for me. Like I always seem to get more shedding with lighter hair versus darker hair. But yeah, it's not shedding a whole lot, but I was getting some shedding out as I was styling the hair. And initially, whenever I first combed it out to start curling it and everything. But yeah, I think the hair came out super cute. So stay tuned if you want to see how I laid this wig, how I did the baby hairs, and how I curled it and everything. So So this is how the wig looks on the inside and I would advise you to take the combs out because they really irritated my head But yeah, it has four combs in this wig Okay, so I just popped the wig on I can't remember if I plucked it, but it looks already kind of plucked I'm probably gonna have to cut off some of that lace, but I just put the wig on I haven't cut off any extra lace. I only cut off the lace around the front um and i haven't laid the wig down at all i just really want to go ahead and start curling it because as you can see it's kind of like all over the place the only thing that has been done to this wig is that the knots have been bleached i have shampooed it and it air dried and then it has just been sitting waiting for me to do this video so i have not curled it or anything at all i think with this hair i want to do some one curls because that's what i love um, I don't want to wear it straight. I'm going to do some wand curls and probably a middle part or a side part. I'm not really sure yet. So I'm just going to start curling the hair and then I will lay the wig down later on. It does fit quite snug and I did kind of crisscross the straps in the back. So I don't know. I may do this glueless or not. I just... I don't know yet. So I'm just going to start curling the hair and y'all can watch me curl this hair up and get it going in the direction that we need it to. Because right now it's not cute. It's not looking cute at all. It's real Tina Turner-esque right now. Okay. Okay. So I just got my pump it up spray and I'm just going to spray my hair down all over so that whenever I want to curl it, it will hold a curl better. And then I'm just going to go through and curl the hair. Y'all already know how to do this. I did decide to curl the hair first before I actually laid the wig down. Sometimes I will do it either way. It just depends on the mood that I'm in. So I'm just going through and one curling this hair. I didn't show the whole process because I feel like it was kind of like the same thing over and over. And y'all have seen me one curl plenty of times um this one curl that i am using the barrel size i'm not really sure y'all know i never know the size of the barrel but yeah i'm just doing some one curls all in this hair and then you can see how the curls are looking and now we are moving on to laying the lace down for this wig i decided to just lay it down with the got to be spray i didn't use any gel this is just a faster way to apply the wig and for me, 
it didn't last as long as it would last whenever I do the gel method plus I had already done my makeup first this day I cleaned my head off a bit but I feel like if I lay my wig before I do my makeup I get a better lay as far as how long the wig will actually last so I just sprayed some got to be spray on the wig where the lace is and then I'm just going in and blow drying and also on this wig you can kind of see the knots I think with this one it was a little over bleached and I may have added some dye back to the front so maybe that's how it has those little dots or maybe it didn't bleach well enough I can't really remember what happened whenever I bleached the knots on this wig but it will look okay after we get done and we put some makeup and everything so yeah I'm just laying this wig down I did the middle and now I'm doing the sides and I just do the same thing like what I always do, but I just use the spray only. So, yeah, basically very repetitive, right? I know. I know y'all got this. So, yeah, I'm just blow drying it and holding it into place because with the spray, it's not really tacky like that, like how the gel would be. So, you kind of have to hold it in place and stuff like that. But it's still kind of faster because you don't have as many steps as you would if you were to use the gel so now here is the hair all curled up and then i'm gonna go in and comb it out i did go back in and curl the top portion of the hair just to polish it up and everything at the end but i'm just combing out the curls and everything and then i decided how i wanted to wear the hair i didn't know if i wanted to do like a ponytail or you know a side part or middle part or what i wanted to do so I was just kind of playing around with it, trying to see how I would like it. And then I decided to do a middle part because y'all know I've been addicted to middle parts lately. So I'm just doing a middle part in this hair. And then I'm going to go in and use my hot comb to lay the part area down. And also go in with my wax stick to further define the parting area. And I really like a wax stick because it just it really makes the hair look natural. It gives it like a nice little shine and it lays it down really, really good. So I use the hot comb first, then I do the wax stick and I go back in with the hot comb again to get everything nice and flat and natural looking. So yeah, and I'm also going to go into this wig and pull out some of the hairs in the parting area just to widen up the part a little bit more so as you can see here I'm just kind of parting off a little bit and then I'm going to pull this hair straight out like I always say if you've never done this then maybe you would prefer to use tweezers because um, it's a little hard to do and you can rip your lace easy by doing this but sometimes I feel like I have ripped the lace easier if I go in and pluck it so I prefer to just do the little pull method if I want to widen up a part so yeah after I do that then I went back in with the hot comb to further define the parting space and lay down any hair that is sticking up and stuff like that so yeah that's what I did and then what am I doing next I don't even know what is this next clip come on get to it so yeah on this next clip, we are pulling more hairs out because the part still wasn't to my liking. I couldn't tell what I was doing yet, y'all. So yeah, you know, editing one-on-one. But yeah, so I just pulled out some more hairs and then I'm going in and plucking out some hair in the front to just thin out the hairline a little bit. And then I'm going to start parting the hair off and laying my baby hairs down. You can do baby hairs or you cannot do baby hairs. It's optional, whatever you like. I like baby hairs. I like baby hairs on my natural hair. So I like baby hairs on my wig. So yeah, I'm just laying it down using some wrapping mousse. And I'm also going to use, did I use gel? I think I used some eco styling gel also to help lay it down. Or maybe not. Maybe that was just the last week video. I can't remember y'all. Getting a little delusional at this point editing today so I'm just going in with the hot comb and pushing it back to make the hairline look more natural and then I am going to finish laying my baby hairs down on the side with this little sideburn piece so I just go ahead and trim it off and then sometimes I will leave it and just like kind of put a curl in it or flat iron it or sometimes I will go in and make a little swoop going back towards 
my ear so it just depends on what I'm in the mood for I will do either or or sometimes I won't even do anything so you can kind of see how one side looks when it's completed and how the other side looked regular so now I have did both sides with my baby hairs and then I am going back in and recurling the hair at the top to just polish the hair off and recurl this area because we have lost some of that curl and wave to the hair while we were parting off and flat ironing and hot combing and pulling hair out. We didn't flat iron, but y'all know what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm just going back in and recurling the hair and then we are going to finish up this look. So yeah, I feel like I'm just talking a lot. So I'm just going to let y'all watch the video and I'll be back in a minute if I have something else to say. Okay, so then on this front portion, I did go ahead and do a little bit of face framing layers around the front, just on those very two front pieces. And then I'm going in and still one curling, but that very front piece, I did decide to use my flat iron because that was like how I used to do my hair back in the day all the time. Use the flat iron in the front to get that nice pushed back look. You can use a wand curler. It's not really necessary. Like I've been able to do it with the wand curler so yeah i just decided to use my flat iron this day but yeah so i am just cutting layers a little bit in the front just to face frame a little bit and now you can see i'm going in with my flat iron to give it that pushback look but like i said you can use a wand curler for this as well so either way but the curl is really nice when you use a Flat iron. I haven't did a full head of flat iron curls in a while. So let me know if y'all want that. But yeah, so now I'm going in with some foundation powder and I am just going to define the part even further and also put it on the front where my lace is to further make my lace match my skin and just blend in really, really nicely. So yeah. Then I'm going to go in with my wrapping mousse. You can use some water in the place of this if you don't want to use your wrapping mousse. But I always use the wrapping mousse and kind of just go on top. And this will help the powder to melt in and you won't have like that ghostly look. So yeah, I'm just tying it down for a minute. Okay, y'all. So I let it sit. I blow dried it a little bit and then I let it sit. So let's take it down. Calm down the curls. This is the completed look of the hair and I put on my pink top and I just feel like it just goes with everything like Barbie. Eh. Yeah, so I think it turned out super cute. So yeah, at first I was like, oh my God, this hair ain't giving me, but it's giving me now what I need. Like it looks really good. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.